Good morning, NAFA California. I'm Sherry McHugh. I am your lobbyist in Sacramento, and I monitor everything legislatively and in the regulatory space for NAFA California. I've had the privilege of representing you for over 15 years, and as many of you know, I uh, truly, truly enjoy representing you guys and working on your issues. We've been very busy um, in 2020, even with the pandemic. The legislature is busy working, the commissioner is busy working, and that means that we are busy working as well. Um, out of the gate, um, in January, a uh, number of bills were introduced, a number of bad bills were introduced. We had a suitability bill for the long-term care um, in life insurance hybrid products. Um, we had to uh, work with the author to try to get that bill parked, so that bill did not move. Um, we worked on an HIV modernization bill in the insurance code. We were successful in working with the Department of Insurance and the insurance companies to amend the bill so that um, uh, HIV was on, on uh, parallel tracks with other uh, chronic illnesses and did not have a preference. So that was a big victory for us. And then the pandemic um, hit and we started working with the Department of Insurance. Out of the gate, the first thing we needed to do was make sure that the governor's office and the insurance commissioner considered agents and advisors essential. Um, and we were successful in doing that. And then we had to start working on some of the other regulatory issues and some of the challenges as it pertains to licensing, uh, testing, and so forth. So that really occupied a lot of time and space. Um, we are right now in a position where we working, for those of you in the property and casualty space, um, we're working on some homeowners bills that we still need a few more amendments. We're watching those bills move. Um, but we're really in, in, in good shape right now going into the last few weeks of session. The legislature adjourns on August 31st. So we feel pretty good about where things will stand um, once they adjourn. And I think we'll have most of the bills that we were concerned about fixed. What we are worried about is what 2021 has in store for us. Um, we're very concerned about taxes. Um, very concerned about what other grand ideas could be thrown at us as a result of the pandemic. Um, so we really need more than ever to be NAFA California strong. We need members, we need strength, we need muscle, we need voices. Um, we need you at the grassroots level to be working on building your relationships um, and getting to know your elected officials, um, getting to know some of these candidates that are running. We have a couple of open seats. We are working with our PAC to um, contribute to member or candidates and members who are pro NAFA California and respect agents and advisors and our companies. Um, we know that your dollars need to be wisely spent and we are very much, um, we always take that into consideration and very much aware of that fact. So with the election being in November, we need to get good uh, folks elected in the state legislature and we need to make sure that with those people um, being sworn into office that we start working on building those relationships. And I can't emphasize again enough the importance of being a member of NAFA California and being involved and part of this effort. We need to make sure that you have your voices heard every day in the state capitol and they need to be loud and proud. And um, I really am just again honored to represent you and I really I'm sorry we can't all be together in person, but I am always available to all of you. If you ever need anything, um, you can just reach out to me and I'd be happy to be of assistance. Again, um, proud to work with you all and uh, thank you very much.